All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, kind of a crappy day today, um, and it was it was pretty choppy too. I was down a hundred, then I was up two hundred, then I was down a hundred, then I was up a hundred and fifty, and now I'm down four hundred. So, uh, it's just kind of annoying. Just been sitting around watching the spy all day. Beautiful entries. And it might still work, but I had to stop out for the max loss. So, I was buying it here at this double bottom. And it seemed like it was going to work. I just, I, th I think I thought we were going to break out sooner and harder than we really were. Um, I know Powell is talking tomorrow. Not today, so that the market's probably not going to be as volatile as I would want it to be today. And I took two strikes. One of them was pretty far out, so... I took a 2R loss on that, and then another 2R on the SPX, the closer one. So, stopped out just now down in this area, and honestly, I don't know. That could have been the actual double bottom that needed to happen to shake people out for the move higher. Unfortunately, I got shaken out. I didn't even give back um, yesterday's profits or whatever, so... That's fine, I'm just super bummed out. And uh, so let's go over some other stuff today. What else? Um, also got stopped out on Apple. So the entry here, beautiful entry, two strikes right here. Didn't sell any as it came up. I was looking for high a day. Got stopped out on the way down just for under one R on each, or no, $67 and then 25. So one R between the two strikes, that was okay. You know, I could have taken it again here, but this thing, like, everything is just kind of sloped down and just choppy and failing, but, oh, man, it's just the spy is so frustrating. So, I traded that, I traded the SPX. Now, th these are the ones that I missed. This is the one that I'm kind of pissed about. So, Netflix, Netflix was a beautiful long today. We had the 20 EMA on the hourly and an hourly gap. I didn't take it, and then it made it all the way up to these highs, right up here. The contracts on Netflix, if we, so if I had taken this, I would have been getting in around 370. I would have taken the 375s. So if we go and we look at what they're at, we can see that my entry would have been down here around 360. I would have probably taken two, maybe three contracts. I would have rode this up, probably selling at five something, six something, and that would have been 700 bucks, something like that. So that was a big miss. Let me show you guys Amazon, another beautiful hourly setup. We see it came down into yesterday's gap. No, this is the four hour. Yesterday's gap yesterday's close the 20 EMA same setup pretty much as Netflix and if we go to the Amazon options um, so I would have taken as a dip down in here I probably would have taken the 2200s so if we look at the 2200s pull them up hello pull them up so if at this price, I would have just taken one of them. So 650 bucks, I would have been selling somewhere up in here for 1800, 1700. So that would have been, oh, that would have been such a good win. Oh, two massive misses. And then I take the crappy trades that I get chopped out of. So I'm super frustrated right now, but it's all right. I didn't even give up yesterday's gains and this feeling is the one that I have to get used to right I have to get used to being wrong and being okay with it and not just jumping back in this with bigger size because trust me all I want to do is jump in back into the spy with big size but then if it flushes down back to this level which is still kind of bullish because we're still above pre-market lows. We're at the 200. You know, I'd be down 1,500, 2,000 at that point. So I can't do that. This is really going to hurt when this reverses and goes higher. But uh, 
that's okay. I'm going to figure out how to be in it next time without getting stopped out. I had a great entry. Um, I just, I'm not a part of it. You know, this might, this might not even work still. Who knows? So, discipline today. This is how I deal with losers. Uh, I hate, I hate being red. I hate red days. You guys know that I, I'm not red that often. I usually have green days, but I just got to chill. I'm going to close the platform the second that I'm done this video. I'm going to go relax. I'm going to get this out of my system, you know, go to the gym, go for a walk. I like going out for walks when it's snowy out um, for like an hour, hour and a half. Just reset for tomorrow and really go over those misses because I missed beautiful setups today and then figure out either is the SPY and Apple something I would take in the future again or did I screw up on those and how I could have managed them differently for example so thank you guys for watching hopefully you didn't have a red day like me other than that see you later